Welcome back. This is, I'm picking up right from the previous video where I looked at the match function. The match function, which is a function that you can call on a string with a regular expression, will give you the thing the regular expression matches plus the captured group. However, if you use the global flag, you lose the captured group. It only just gives you an array of those matches. So if you need to match multiple instances of a regular expression and have captured groups, you have to use a function in JavaScript called exec. And exec is a function that instead of saying the string matches a regular expression, you're saying the regular expression executes string. We're really saying execute this regular expression on a string, but execute is a function that you call in the regular expression. So r.exec s. So these do, these over here do basically the same thing. S.match R, R.exec S, but exec does a little bit more, but the writing the code is a little bit more complicated. So let's just call it once, and I'm going to see what happens. Look what I got. I got 111-222 and the captured group, right? I got the full phone number and the first three digits. Let me call that function again. <gasps> Look at that. I got the next one. Let me call that function again. I got null. So what you can actually do with exec is call it continuously until you get null. And, and you, have to write, you just have to write your own loop to continue to call it. And there's some nice, really like elegant ways of doing this in like one long loop statement, like while this call blah, blah, not equal to null. I'm going to do it in a rather long-winded way just to make it as, re you know, nothing with regular expressions is readable at all, to be honest. But I'm going to try to make it as kind of legible and understandable as possible. So let's actually do that in the code now. So this is the regular expression. And I don't want to use the match function anymore. Instead, what I want to do is I want to say uh, match. And actually, I don't want to use the word match because that's the name of a function. But I'm just going to say uh, results. Result, I can't think of what to say, is the regular expression execute on the string. Now, as long as that result is not equal to null, I can do something and then do it again. So as long as that result is not equal to null, continue to call this again and again. And then as soon as it becomes null, you're done. Now what do I want to do? What I want to do is say create p result. Now let's look at what happens here. So this is now the algorithm. Call exec, get a result. As long as it's not null, do something and do it again. Then do something, then do it again. As soon as it's null, be done with it. So now if I come and refresh this page, sorry, those are my null notes <laughs> that has the code in it. Um, I can do this, and you can see, look what I've got. So it actually, it's kind of spitting out the array, but you can see it's doing this. It's giving all of them. And uh, if I refresh the page and say, and for, you know, you can see there, I've matched everything and I'm retaining the captured group. So if all I want to do is show the captured group, all I need to do is say what? Create p result index 1. Because remember, the, what exec returns to you is an array of all the captured groups. Group 0 is always the full match, then group 1, then group 2, etc. So I can run this again, and I can hit submit, and you can see I'm just getting what was captured. So that's really the basics of using exec. I'll show you now um, that you can actually, you can, um, you can write this, uh, you can make this shorter. I think you can just say um, while var result equals r.exec s. I think I could just do this because this whole thing will evaluate to null. Let me look at how I wrote it here. <laughs> Doesn't, yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I did. OK, so this whole thing will evaluate to null when it stops. And then, um, and I don't need this anymore. So I can actually just write it just like this. So this is kind of like a shorthand way of writing it, which I could also do. This should give me the same result. I didn't really want to, I didn't really want to go over that, uh, but I did. OK, wait, over here. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Syntax error, line 21. Um, this is what happens when you go off, off the beaten path of what you didn't intend to do. What's wrong here? While var result equals r dot exec s. Uh, um, uh, did that not work? Okay, hold on. Let me just 
Let me copy paste this. R exec S. Yeah, look at this. Token var. Ah. Can I? Okay, that might have done something. Um, yeah, so, um, so for whatever reason, uh, I, I, so, so this is how, I guess I have to fix that in my notes. Um, you've got to um, create the variable in advance. So the weird thing about JavaScript is very good at evaluating things to true or false. So it'll figure out, even though this is like a function statement, like calling that and, it, it, and returning something, this, like if I write this code, um, this code it will evaluate to either true or false based on whether it gets null or not. Um, okay, uh, it's, like, um, it's like falsiness, you know. Truthiness, it's kind of like a little bit truth or not truth. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm, I'm melting here. <laughs> melting under the, the heat and, and pain and happiness and joy and stress and all of that of regular expressions. So hopefully you've gotten a little bit about how to use exec um, in this video and how to be able to use capturing groups. But really, I'm kind of missing the, um, the, main, the main squeeze, the main event, the, uh, <laughs> which is looking at the functions uh, split and replace. So the functions split and replace are used with regular expressions for a lot of text processing algorithms in JavaScript, and I'll show you those in the next video.